This is an extract of the Evening Standard's new podcast, An Invitation to Meet. Why is this so important to you? Why did you set up a company that's making food sharing and the eradication of food waste so important? Because it's a really, really, really big problem that is makes no sense whatsoever. So 40% of all the food that we produce globally goes to waste. And um, to collectively, that's 10% of global carbon emissions. If, if food waste were a country, after China and the US, it would be the largest carbon emitter out of all the countries in the world. And it's completely senseless. We could feed everyone on the planet multiple times over. And this is just a matter of fixing a broken system. And I can see how we can do that, not just in our lifetime, but within this decade. And so the opportunity to have impact very quickly at scale is incredibly exciting. And it's where I'd rather spend my time rather than potentially working on a problem that I don't see how we'll get to an end of ever in our lifetime. And in case anyone wasn't aware, we're in the middle of a climate emergency where there's a a point, we're beyond a point of no return. And like, I love humanity, if I'm being honest, and I want us to survive. And I want my son to have a, a, a bright future that's not, you know, completely filled with like people escaping to go live on Mars and leaving everyone else to like burn to death. I'm being a bit dramatic, but actually like that's the world that I live in. Like that's the reality. Um, You know, I'm sure a lot of the listeners will have seen Don't Look Up on, on Netflix, which is a bit controversial, but I saw that movie and I'm like, that's how I feel sometimes. Like trying to raise awareness about a really big problem that we're all facing collectively. And we, we've got to make it simple, easy, fun, safe, and, and just second nature for individuals to take small everyday actions that collectively at scale will reduce the pressure uh, that we're putting on our environment. And, and that's what Oleo aims to do. Of course, you come from, uh, I mean, you've described it as a hippie upbringing I've seen in, in some interviews. What kind of yeah. life, what, what, how, what, what was that upbringing for you, Sasha? Um, so I'm the oldest of six children. I grew up in a, sort of the middle of nowhere, rural um, America. And my parents were definitely hardcore hippies. They made up my last name. I was raised as a vegetarian. I was never vaccinated. I was born in a barn, you know, follow the Grateful Dead around. Um, but we also didn't grow up without with a lot of money, at least for the first half of my life. And it was my job to help my mom make ends meet. And that meant following her around town and collecting things that other people threw away. And so that was sort of the genesis, really, if Oleo is about coming full circle. It's certainly coming full circle from a values perspective to the values I was raised with. But between Oleo and my childhood, I took a pretty big detour, which was, you know, I didn't want to have that financial insecurity that I grew up with. And I sort of was probably overcorrected and I was really, really focused on developing sort of a, a, a professional career that provided me with a lot of security. So I spent 13 years, I studied economics, I went to business school and I spent 13 years working in investment banking and management consulting. And it wasn't until I became a mom myself that I started to sort of have that cliched reckoning. How do I want to spend my time? What, what kind of impact do I want to have on the world? And, and that. I just really, really felt a strong call to take my skills and experience that I'd, that I'd acquired and to put them towards something that was going to uh, make my son proud. 